the electrification of vehicles is everywhere now. At KBB, we're here for it and intrigued by how each car company is approaching the shift. Here's the state of electrification of the Ford Motor Company. Does it seem unusual to anybody out there that Ford is making electric vehicles? If you know a bit of Blue Oval history, you'll know that Henry Ford, yeah, that OG guy, actually promised the world an electric vehicle back in 1914, far before any government mandates. But between battery storage and materials issues, and perhaps a little bit of influence from oil companies, Ford abandoned ship. Let's call their first modern EV the 1998 to 2002 Ranger EV. They bought an experimental European automaker called Think and adapted technology from its tiny little city cars into their normal Ranger. Most of those went into government fleets on leases and were destroyed at the end of the lease. But this was the same era as the GM EV1. So they were thinking electric trucks when everyone else was thinking electric sedans. They started their hybrid program in 2004 with the first Escape Hybrid, and that's still going. Last year, they split the company in two, at least operationally, to have a gas division and a separate electric division. Ford stated their complete commitment to electrification and alternative powertrains, and have the capacity to mass produce at a phenomenal scale, to the tune of 600,000 vehicles globally by late 2023, and 2 million by 2026. Verbal commitment means very little. So how much is Ford putting their money where their mouth is when it comes to electrifying their lineup? How does $50 billion sound? With that, I could buy a bunch of those. Ford's committed to carbon neutrality by 2050, which seems to be an industry standard now. They've also announced the establishment of the Ford Ion Park Global Battery Center in Michigan to innovate battery technology and also, like the industry standard, claim to have doubled down on solid state battery development. Ford recently announced that their EV users will be able to start charging on Tesla's charging network. That's a huge boon because charging infrastructure is a legitimate consideration, particularly for truck owners towing the driving long. When it comes to current Ford EVs, you've got a couple of options. The Mach-E crossover and the F-150 Lightning are available now, as is the E-Transit for commercial use. You can get a hybrid Escape, Maverick, and Explorer. Full EV crossovers of the Explorer and a Puma are hitting Europe sometime in the near future, with new products promised on the horizon. Somewhere, Henry Ford must be pretty stoked.